make sense of that. On week 14 of NFL pregame pick, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. We got Pat here. We got my boy Derek in today. Dell couldn't make it, but we still got his pick somewhere on the phone, on the screen somewhere. We'll, we'll deal with that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to start with you, Pat. What, what are your thoughts so far into the season? The injury bug seemed to hit a lot of different teams. So, um, what do you think? Is it some bullshit? Is it the sway bets? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I think some of these guys are going to be breaking down, rigged or not. You're going to be seeing um, some injuries, just the the little naggy shit that's been going on with the ankles and knees and toes all year. That's going to start <clears throat> coming out. So maybe these guys could still play. You know, back in the day, they, they'd play through the injuries or whatever, where now they probably go, hey, coach, my toes messed up. So they go, okay, we'll just sit you down and put in somebody else. Like, that's probably... <clears throat> super easy for them to do. And then that's going to sustain the longer seasons for the players or the longer careers and stuff. So uh, there's a lot of preventative stuff, but you're starting to see the teams pull away now where there's clear separation. So you're going to start to see a lot of garbage games these next like four weeks, just, uh, you know, I don't know, some real crappy football with the bottom of the barrel teams. And then everybody else going to be jockeying for playoff position and, I don't know, sitting starters, all that shit's going to be coming, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know how much they like to milk this shit to the very last last week of the season now. So I don't know about them just sitting players so soon. Maybe mm -hmm. like two to three teams, but most of them, no. They finna right. bring in that ad money. 2020 fucked them up, so. Dude, sure. it's definitely starting. When it comes to the injuries and shit, like all of a sudden, it like it just so happens to align – the Packers are pretty much mathematically eliminated. Aaron Rodgers is like, damn. Uh, all of a sudden, I don't know. I might go. I might not. I really want that 50 mil next year. So I guess even though I've hated Jordan Love my entire life, I guess y'all can let him play. It is no big deal because people are trying to secure the fucking bag. Lamar starts going down. Tua's undefeated um, when he starts and finishes the game all the way up until this certain part of the season. And like Pat said, you know, it's getting cold. It's getting later into the season, but it's just, it's just weird. It's certain very good players. The Rams are already having a shit season and they were just like, fuck it, pack it in Aaron Donald. You're done. Matthew Stafford, that elbow that you said was fine all season. No, it's not Uh Cooper cup. Shut him down. Like it's not a coincidence is all I'm saying. It's just, it's just too much. They get an early vacation, too, because the Rams had a long season last year, got the ring. They don't need another win for 20 years. That that fan base is secure for L.A. So they're like, hey, you guys get an early vacation. Cooper Cup's already been in Casa Mal for a couple weeks. Matt Stafford's flying down next week, you know, bringing the family. Yeah, that's the point. Like, they won. The Chargers ain't really got a fan base at all. Shit, the Rams attendance <laughs> at this game really isn't even that great. Like, you know, Vegas or the Raiders, they used to be in L.A., so take over that shit real quick. Hey, bro, I was literally just watching Thursday Night Football before I hopped on, and, bro, it was 13-3, to three and the Raiders are driving down, and at this point, if they score a touchdown, like, everybody's going to fucking shut their TV off, and all, Derek Carr, fucking add the video of this, fucking just lobs one up in the end zone, and it gets picked off, and I'm like- I saw that shit. I'm like, what do we, come on, man, it's not even- you aren't even trying anymore, man. <laughs> it's getting hard to watch. I'm not going to lie. There's no reason for that. Because you know if the Raiders go up 20 to 3 at halftime, nobody's fucking coming back. And they're like, you know what? Oh, my God. There was so much pressure on them. Oh. The, and the commentators, they even let it slip. They're like, uh, tosses up a lollipop for the defense. I'm like, okay. The announcers be getting, they, they be getting comfortable. <laughs> Tony Romo get mad comfortable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't even care anymore, man. It's getting bad. It's getting worse. It's really getting worse. Wait till the uh, the playoffs when Joe Buck and uh, Troy Aikman get some liquor in their system and they call in a game, <laughs> that wild card game. Just wait. You're going to hear a lot of shit. They might tell you who's going to win the game right before it happens. Like, just straight up say it. Like, Joe Buck was in a real good mood for that Monday Night Football game. Like, I thought it was Christmas the way he was talking. Mm -hmm. was way too happy. Hey, are you talking about that clip when he was talking about his wife? That shit was absurd. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the intro to Monday Night Football. He was oh. doing, like, Brady and different players and shit. He was, like, way too excited for this game. And slurring, <laughs> too. He was like, well, here we are. It's like, Troy Aikman, I love it. Troy Aikman face me bloodshot red every single game. Dating back to Fox, I love it. 
I get it. Call a bunch of games in Green Bay. You're going to need a sweater. I, I understand. <laughs> but um, Thursday night football, Vegas is a four-point favorite. They, they've been up 13-3. Majority of the game, this game has been ass. Baker sucks. I don't like him. <laughs> I'm taking the Raiders to win this game. Uh, Pat, what you got? Who you got winning? Vegas, baby. Oh, it's I mean it's I mean it's obvious Vegas. I mean, it was before the game even started, I'd I'd already put a little money down on Vegas. There's no way Baker Mayfield was gonna it would be too uh it would be too crazy if Baker Mayfield comes in after being in LA for fucking 23 minutes and just comes out and fucking beats Derek Carr and Devontae. And it's not gonna happen. I got the Raiders by whatever the hell the spread is, they're covering it. Four. They're gonna cover four points. Oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. They'll sticking with his hometown Raiders as well. Yeah, no one has faith in the Rams at this point in the season. Boy, ain't no way, boy. We're going to move on to the 1 p.m. game. We got Minnesota, two-point favorite at Detroit. Pat, I'm going to start with you. Your, your hometown Lions, they're kind of starting to catch a little bit of fire. Who you got? I got I got the Lions in this one. They're going to have a record running, running game. More yards on the ground than you've seen since... Uh, James Stewart from Jacksonville came as a free Damn, agent. That's a name. <laughs> he Go was balls. That's a name. Up. Go balls. That's a name. He was busted up when he came to Detroit. Yeah, no, Detroit's gonna win. I see. This is how you know this shit's not scripted. I I gotta go with the Vikings. <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, here we are. It's my first. <laughs> it, it's my first that's time on. I'm like Pat, uh, sir. I simply don't agree with you. I think the Vikings are. Uh, this is a one o'clock game so kirk cousins will not be frightened he will not be scared there's no pressure spreads not too big it's not too small and the vikings have been really good on um one score games this year everybody keeps saying their luck's gonna run out i don't think it will kirk's got nothing to fear the lions defense is i'm pretty sure they're bottom of the league in defense and course, yeah. and the vikings uh, they're the lions and the vikings have uh justin jefferson who i hear is pretty good at football so I'm expecting great things for them. Um, you said the spread was two and a half. I mean, no, I'm two, two, two. It's oh yeah. Let me let me lock that shit in right now. The Vikings, I I, I got them. That's where I'm at. All right, yeah, I got Minnesota, and uh, surprisingly, Dale picked the Lions on this one. I, am. Mm. I need to talk. To that this, is man. the most shocking. <laughs> yeah, Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Baltimore's a two point favorite. Lamar Jackson injured. It's a week to week situation. Tyler Hundley doing what he did what last year. I think Pittsburgh are gonna steal this one though. Baltimore gonna drop a game in that division. I got I got the Steelers. I got the Steelers as well. I like Mike Tomlin in divisional games. I think that Tyler Huntley is a poor man's Lamar Jackson. And they're going to be a little bit conservative with him because after Tyler Huntley, you know, it's going to be like the fucking Madden depth chart where you got to play the punter if that man gets injured. So I think they're going to keep it chill with him. Not not too many read options and shit. I just trust Mike Tomlin at this point in the year and the Ravens. They seem to be falling off. So um, I'm going with the Steelers also. I'm I'm going Baltimore on this one. And it's uh, it could really it could be a, a coin flip on who's going to win this game. But uh, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be one of them ones where you switch over to the to the Lions game. You'd rather watch the Lions play than um, it's going to be a bad game. But the Ravens will come away with the win. Yes, yeah, a nap time game for sure. Uh, they'll <laughs> pick the Steelers. Okay, yeah, we, we splitting down the middle on a couple of these picks. That's what's up. A little diversity. <laughs> Another super exciting matchup: Cleveland. We got that man Deshaun Watson back. At Cincinnati, who was a three and a half point favorite. Um, this is another one of those kind of coin flip type situation. But I feel like Deshaun's gonna still struggle a little bit. He hasn't played football in over what a year. I got the Bengals taking this dub real quick, you know. Get a little position on the Ravens in the AFC North division race. Oh, it's the Bengals easily. Also, fuck Deshaun Watson. All my homies hate Deshaun Watson. Uh, so there's that, you know, I don't know. This might be my first or last ever fucking appearance on this channel, but know this it's fuck Deshaun Watson for life. Okay. <laughs> that motherfucker's a weirdo. He's a creep. You got too much money to be feeling up on people that don't want you to feel up on them. Just pay a prostitute like everybody else. You know, I, I, why, why you gotta be weird? Why, why you gotta Louis CK these hoes? I'm sorry. The Bengals are going to win. It's just a matter of how much I was, uh, I was thinking earlier today about my top 
NFL player who died and also jumped out of a moving vehicle. And I could only come up with Chris Henry. And damn's the name, boy. What a great receiver and what a great uh, case for mental health studies. But with all that being said, Cincinnati's going to win. Rest in peace, Chris Henry. Damn, that's a name right there, boy. And Dill cleaned up the sweep. Yep, we all got Cincy on this one over Cleveland. <sighs> so hopefully this one ain't this song, but New York <laughs> Jets at <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo is a 10-point favorite. I don't think they're covering that spread, but um, Buffalo going to beat the Jets. A little yeah. AFC East divisional matchup. Pat, who you got? Thinking about this game made me think about uh, terminal cancer and Jim Kelly wow. beat terminal cancer. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> it can't be more morbid than the Michaels game. <laughs> let's, talk let's talk Jim Kelly and lung cancer, everybody. <laughs> no, remember he fought cancer. Whatever. Um, I just funny. took it there for the morbidness. Buffalo's going to win. <laughs> That's funny. Derek, who you got? It's I believe it's in Buffalo. I don't know if that actually matters. They're both New York teams. A couple of the games this week, by One's the way. One's New Jersey. One's New Jersey. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just it's thinking like Buffalo, by the way. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that definitely makes a difference. By the way, I know we haven't got to it yet, and I'm not spoiling it. Cowboys and Texans, Texas matchup. Browns and Bengals, Ohio matchup. Jets and the Bills. New York matchup. Interesting. I don't. I don't know what that is. Um, Bills, I believe, are going to win. The Jets winning the season series feels wrong. It feels like no way. Even though the Jets already won one, I think the home field does matter. I think the Bills win, but the Jets will cover. Dill, he yeah, he picked the he picked the Bills as well. So we got the brooms out for a little minute. This one's going to be a little bit closer, but I got the boys. The boys, they ain't going to the Super Bowl, but they're going to win this game. The Texans are hot dog water. The Cowboys are going to beat them pretty badly, pretty comfortably. But it's very, very seldom that you get two blowouts back to back. So Cowboys will win, but it might be by 12. It might be by 14. It might be by 16. If you're a betting man... Listen, this is not a betting show, but if you want to throw the Cowboys, do a little teaser for my betting people out there. If you want to do Cowboys minus six, minus seven, minus 10, go for it. But what's that fucking number? Like 17? That's disgusting. Uh, I did some gematria on this one. I put uh, Arian Foster. I typed his name into the reverse decipher, <laughs> and it, it came back Dallas Cowboys suck. So I picked the Texans. Um, Gematria is real, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this a it, to cover or to win? Like, how deep does this cowboy? The Texans win outright. They're going away with it. I don't even know who the quarterback of that team is. But nah, though he picked the Cowboys as well, man. Pat, he the only one who picked I mean, his coin. So, somebody picked the Texans. It wasn't me. Don't, don't put my it. name on that. Allegedly, shit. Allegedly, someone picked the Texans. Thought it was a good idea. I don't, I don't know who. <laughs> they probably a dead president, but. Next game, we got Philly at New York Giants, man. Philly, a uh, one-and-a-half point favorite. I ain't even going to waste time with this one. Strictly out of spite. I don't give a fuck who's playing. It could be Gardner Minshew as a quarterback. The Eagles are going to beat the Giants because I hate the Giants. Pat, who you got? Everyone thinks Eagles all day, so you know me. I'm going G-Man <laughs> for the upset. The divisional games are always weird. You never know. Both Northeast teams, both used to the cold. But... Eagles, they looked really good. God bless them against the Titans last week. So you know that they know how to deal with a team that's run dominant. Here I am on my ESPN shit. But to be honest with you, the the Eagles, uh, I, I don't think... It's going to be closer than people think, but the Eagles will win. I say that with absolute certainty. <laughs> Dale got them birds too. Man, I noticed a little trend, bro. Why is all the melanated people on one side? Pat, you've been picking the other team, bro. What's going on? Cause I don't run with y'all. I don't. On, bro? I'll lose. I will lose just so I'm not picking the he's same. From Detroit, shit. but now he's from Michigan. What's right. What's going on, Pat? What's going on? I ain't from Detroit. I'm from around Detroit. I don't go down. There. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of fucked up places, man, Jacksonville is traveling to Nashville to take on the Tennessee Titans, who was a six and a half point favorite. 
Titans gonna bounce back from last week. I got them taking it dub. I got the Guars all day. Jacksonville oh is run away. That's, that's a coin pick. Jacksonville runs away with it. Thank you, coin. I'm so sick of this, man. Look, we were doing fine. We were having a great time. <laughs> now, look, people are going to think that, like, okay, I had to get involved. no one knows who I am. It doesn't matter, but I do happen to be in Tennessee, and people are going to think when I say this with so much confidence that it's because I'm in Tennessee. I don't even fucking like the Titans that much. I just live here, okay? But I know the Titans own the Jaguars, and every time Derrick Henry runs against them, he goes crazy. So if you are, like, worried about the spread, you think the prince that was promised who's Trevor Lawrence is going to pull up and be Aladdin, fine, whatever. But Derrick Henry is going to fucking eat on, like, and I just... The, the Titans are going to win, and I'm just, I'm just so, I'm. It's going to happen. That's three picks in a row, man. That, that's three in a row. Kind of sus, Pat. I'm not going. You lie. guys, KK, no, man. you guys are excluding me. You're excluding me. Nah, nigga, that ain't how that, that ain't how racism works. No, you're Black separate. people can't be racist. You know this. <laughs> Kansas City at Denver, man. We got a six and a half point favorite Chiefs at Denver. They should get Kadarius Tony back. The Broncos suck. Uh, the country ain't finna ride. None of that shit. Nah, nigga. Kansas City finna get this dub. Fuck you talking about. They gonna cover, too. They gonna, they gonna whoop they ass. Chiefs, man. I hope this pick can get part of my black card back. Uh, Chiefs. I picked the Chiefs. Okay. Hey, you got any cred? The cred Step up. Step in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're ba- baby steps. We'll, we'll see. Yes. No barbecue yet. So... <laughs> The Chiefs, I, I saw a crazy stat, and I have to give credit where it's due. Uh, Nick Wright is not like a great person generally, but uh, he he is who made me aware of this crazy stat. If the Broncos would have scored 18 points in every game this season, they would have the best record in the NFL. If they would have just scored 18 points every game. That is how bad their offense is. If they would have scored wild. 18 points... They have about the best record in the NFL. So here's the thing. Patrick Mahomes doesn't give a fuck who you are. He's going to get his points. So the Chiefs are going to win, and they're going to cover. And the sad part is I grew up a Broncos fan, but I'm not married to any team or anyone but, like, my real-life wife. And if you're if the team starts being ass, I just can't root for you anymore. Bring out the broom, man, because they'll pick the Chiefs, too. Don't nobody believe in no Broncos no more. Follow. Niggas ain't doing shit. You can bring the goddamn shit back as a crossover. It ain't it ain't gonna go nowhere. That gas my shit. <laughs> goddamn thing. Got a four twenty five matchup, man. We got Carolina at Seattle. Who is a one point favorite? Just one point. This one could be a you know a trap. Because I've noticed Carolina always tends to win games when they get rid of like someone who was a key piece to start the season, whether it be Robbie Anderson, McCaffrey, or Baker Mayfield. But I'm going to take them Seahawks because they want to make their division close. In case you all haven't noticed, I, I came into this pretty prepared, but I was looking over the games before we got on here, and I saw the Panthers were playing the Seahawks, and I got physically ill just thinking about having to watch that football game. And... I don't know, man. It's a pick 'em. I might be swinging over to Pat's side. I might flip a coin. I might ask, you know, my dead great grandparents who they think is going to win because that's how much it matters to me. It doesn't mean anything. Um, but I like Gino. Gino had this crazy fucking bar where he said, uh, it was like after week one, he said they wrote me off, but I ain't right back. That <laughs> shit was hard. So I'm going with the Seahawks. <laughs> that's, that's my only rationale. That's all I got. The birds. Okay. Pat, who you got? I really, I'm not really invested in a lot of these teams, as you guys probably have learned. Um, but I'm invested in the fact that Dell went out of his way to say Seattle will never win a game. Not only this season, he was said as a franchise they will never win another game, and I don't know if that's even possible. But Seattle has come back and defied Dell's very bold ass prediction. So they I'm happy to, there. I'm happy to vote that the Seahawks are going to win to put another nail in that pine box that is Deleon's death of saying Seattle sucks. 
<laughs> That's all I care about this whole season is Seattle winning. Can someone quickly explain to me the the history? Like, what's what's Dell's deal with oh, Seattle? Shit. Like, what's the he fuck? Hate some. Damn. Because oh, Dell, God, this nigga wait. here. <gasps> you hear that crazy. shit? Did I you hear that 20, shit, bro? <laughs> 2022, they'll never win another game. That's what I said. <laughs> Week two. Week two, you were calling that. Like, come on. And you said about Carolina, too. I'm just saying. I, I And they playing each other. I'm just saying, like. Somebody got to win, y'all. I ain't trying to start shit. I'm just saying, bro. Like, at the at yeah. the end of the day, though, bro, Carolina, their team, I was surprised by Seattle. They could be in second place with a win. I'm just saying. Like, it's crazy. But it's crazy. Seattle will win. Seattle. They I saw you had a Seattle pick, too. Yeah. yeah. They're going to win some more games. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's, yeah, we sweeping. The, yeah, back-to-back sweeps after, you know. Three straight segregation picks. So, Tampa Bay at San Francisco, which follows another trend. Derek, you mentioned this before. We got Cal teams playing Florida teams now. This one really is a pick There's no favorite between Tampa and San Fran. But I'm going to take the Buccaneers. I don't see them having them just go out sad. San Fran right now. Nah, them niggas just lost Jimmy G. Nah, I got the Buccaneers on this one. I'm taking Tampa Bay all the way. The acts of God I saw last week to ensure Tom Brady's victory. I just feel like we're going to keep it going. And Tom's going to get another one. There's no reason for San Francisco to win with that. Uh, I don't even know who the fuck's quarterback. It might be like a practice Brock squad. Purdy. College cook. No, nah, he's the type of dude that has no face on Madden. He's not. His, his shit's like... After you get past the passing attributes, it's all just 65. He's not He's not a real person, so I don't think they're going to win. It does not benefit the league or me or anybody with these fucking parlays for, uh, for the 49ers to win. Now, the only reason they would, it's not impossible because their team's actually better. But I just feel like. I just feel like they, they want Tommy to get on a roll before the playoffs. So I'm going to have to go with the Bucks. Dill, what you got? Tap, Tampa. Three in a row, can we? Let's see how this sh- this next shit go, this Sunday night football game. Miami at L.A. Chargers, five-and-a-half-point favorite L.A. Chargers. They ain't really got no fan base either. But that shit don't matter when you got referees and magnets and actors on the field. I got the Chargers not covering that shit because their coach doesn't know what the fuck to do late in the game. But they're going to beat them Dolphins. I love, 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 love this game. Oh, Money line, LA, all day. LA. Oh, so you still going with the upset? Okay. Hell yeah. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Chargers too on that one. But Derek, who you got? Oh, we split. Nah, nah, bro. I want the Dolphins. I want the Dolphins. Like, I, I want the Dolphins. Money line, Dolphins. I in in Reek, I trust. Big cheetah guy. Love Reek. Um, if two was feeling right, if two was feeling nice. I'm taking my talents to Miami. Like it's 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 done. I believe in the Dolphins. I believe in Tua. I was not a believer. I was a full time Tua Tugga, however the fuck you say his last name, hater. But I believe in Tua. I trust in Tua. So I, I got the Dolphins. I also have the Dolphins, but I have to ask you: Do people really call him a Reek for Tyreek Hill, or is I that so. is that your thing? I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought it was I, cheetah. I don't know what the I might have just improv that. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know. I don't know what people call him that. I'm not his fucking girlfriend. I don't know. I have well, no don't idea. Don't pay attention to to the trends and stuff. So if they're calling him Reek Hill now, I just want to know so that next week I can say that in the video and look cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Reek. I I give you the Reek pass. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. That's it though. Just Reek. Monday Night Football. We got New England Patriots at the Arizona Cardinals. Patriots one and a half point favorite. Um, I don't have any intention of watching this game in my free time. But I'm taking the Patriots in this game, man. They're going to win this whole, make their division <laughs> race a little interesting in the AFC East. I got the uh, the Patriots coming away uh, with the victory here. If, if Mac Jones is the quarterback still, he's going to have a good day. The Cardinals, I got to go a different route. Cards. cards, okay. You playing this cards mm-hmm. right? I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm with I'm with Pat 
and the Pats coming around. Look, I feel like Kyler Murray, um, especially if there was like a new fucking Modern Warfare 2 update that came out this past weekend, that Kyler Murray might not be as focused as he should be. He might not have done his homework. <laughs> Bill Belichick does pretty well against quarterbacks that are um, – of Kyler Murray's size, stature, and uh, intellectual capacity. I believe in Bill. I don't believe in Kyler. I hear he's a little jerk. He's like my size. I'm 5'6". I feel like Kyler and I see eye to eye. I couldn't play quarterback, and I don't think he can either. I rest my case. Damn. All right, so. <laughs> man, that, was, that was savage as fuck. <laughs> I didn't write that. I don't know. I just don't fucking like Kyler Murray. That's my whole pitch. I don't know. Funny. But, nah, we got to get to the picks, though, man. The locks right now. Uh, I'm gonna start with you, Dell. Who are your two locks this week? <laughs> B, huh? uh, yeah, you nigga. Y'all know I gave out the lock of the year last year, man. No, last week, I mean. Uh, man, LA Chargers money line went out right, and I got Detroit against my Minnesota Vikings winning that game. No, that shit hurt. Very painful. <laughs> Pat, who are your two locks? Probably the the two front runners in the AFC to go uh, to go to the big game. I'm I'm going Bills and Chiefs. They're they're both going to win, no doubt. Derek, who are your two locks? I assume when we talk about locks, we talk about things like if the game was like a late night game, you only have to watch it. You can just take your ass to bed and you wake up in the morning and know it's money. Now I had the Chiefs, but I feel like it's too easy. It'd be too easy to pick the Chiefs. So I got the Cowboys because the Texans have a bunch of high school players. It's basically varsity versus JV. So the Cowboys are going to obliterate. Go ahead and lock that in. And I got the Bengals because I'd like to reiterate one time, fuck Deshaun Watson. But also, I, I believe in Joe Burrow. Joe Joe Burrow. You know, Joe Shiesty. He's that guy. <laughs> Joe Shiesty. He's him. He's Himothy. I believe in him. <laughs> but no, nah, my locks this week, man. We got them Cowboys over the Texans in the in the Texas Bowl, if you will. And then my second lock, I got the Tennessee Titans over the Jaguars, man. You know, Nissan. I got them over the Jaguar. I know the Jaguars <laughs> a lot faster, but guess what, nigga? The Nissan more liable, bitch. Don't question hey, shit, ho. Hey, that's that's all you need to know right in life. Here. That's factual. That's really that's all true. you need to know in life. There's three things you need to know in life, nigga. Death, taxes, and I put that shit on. That's all you need to know in life, nigga. <laughs> hey. So fuck remember it, this shit, nigga. Fuck Antonio Quote Brown shit, and Donda Sports, by the way. Quote that <laughs> shit, nigga. Brother. Let me talk my shit I before I bounce up out of here. Oh, yeah. Talk your shit. Go hey. down. Talk your shit. Um, who, that, who that dude? Uh, um, oh, shit. Here we go. What's, what's his name, bro? Who? There's a lot of them. The I don't tigger. know. Tigger, tigger dude. Oh, rig, rig the NFL uh, reactions. Hey, rig. Oh, that nigga. You copy your YouTube name. You copy the copyright off low. And that ticker shit, bro. That ticker shit lame as hell, bro. I'm going to keep that shit 100. Talk to him. And we had another dude that changed his YouTube name. We had another dude that changed his YouTube name. What is it, Pat, bro? It's something, uh, Quinn Zone's butthole. He changes the butthole at the end. <laughs> Look, generally speaking, when it comes to the rigged NFL shit, my introduction to it, Pat Lobo fucking Dell, who looks like he's in a motherfucking Amazon. I don't know where he is. Though. He's he's grinding. Okay. The point is, when it comes to the rig shit, all right, the three people I've been on with today, they run that shit. Don't come up trying to fucking pull clips from Highlight Heaven and be like, yeah, hashtag rig. There's enough content out there, okay? If you're trying to jack shit, if you're trying to swagger jack shit, fucking change your shit up, brother. You got to be different. You got to be better than that. Don't apologize. Just be better. All right. Well, yeah. That has been episode or week 14 of uh, NFL Pregame Pick. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Thank you for watching. We are out.